The Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, has rolled over its ongoing strike for another 12 weeks. And that's according to a statement signed by the union's president, Professor Emmanuel Osodeke. It said the union has given the government enough time to satisfactorily resolve all the outstanding issues and that the role of a strike was effective from May 9th, that's today. ASU said it took the decision after its National Executive Council meeting, which was called to review developments since the union declared an eight-week total and comprehensive rollover strike at the end of its emergency meeting on the 14th of March. Some of ASU's demands include the release of revitalization funds for universities, renegotiation of the 2009 FGN ASU agreement, release of earned allowances for university lecturers, and the deployment of the UTAS payment platform for the payment of salaries and allowances of university lecturers. Now, Unilag students this morning staged a peaceful protest against continued ASU strike. They walked on the road singing solidarity songs up to their school gate, demanding that the government resolve the strike and let them return to school. They, however, said the action was just a warning protest and that if government does not listen to them, they would occupy the streets. In front of University of Lagos Gate, the students of the school gathered to protest. They are demanding that the government should ensure they return to school. Margaret Akiwande, a mother of one of the students, joined them in solidarity. I'm here to support my students, my children, because I'm a mother. I want also to go back to school, to go back to resume. If one person that wants to come out as a president can purchase a phone for 100 million. It means they can afford to be the demands of ASU. They are not lazy youths because when they go abroad, they all excel. It is the women that vote and the youths. We have the vote, so we keep our votes. The students who sympathize with their lecturers because of their remuneration let out their emotions. They said the protest would continue if the government did not resolve the issues. The government has become very irresponsible and it is very clear. So there is no ground that they are even shifting or there's no ground that they have even made right now. The government has not even called for a single meeting with ASU. And yet this is a government that negotiates with bandits, negotiates with terrorists, but cannot negotiate with workers. Nans have said they are going to, there's not going to be any uh, primaries, presidential primaries for the PDP or APC if they don't. That's a very good demand. I gained admission since 2019 and I'm still in 200 level. Like I've not even written 200 level exam. I can proudly say I'm just in 100 level. And if it is about staying at home, learning a skill, I wouldn't have wrote, written jam in the first place. When will I graduate? I should be like they're rolling over a strike. Like it's a data bond I don't get This is our lives that you're playing with. The government refuses to listen to us. We are assuring the government that we are going to come out again. We are not going to stop now. And 2023, we are out for them. And we just end the extend the strike by another 12 weeks. Which means if we are not out here to protest, they are going to, we are going to be resuming by August. We are tired of sitting at home. We are tired of roaming about the streets of Lagos. I need my right to education. These people are very violent and they won't listen until they see the writing on the wall. Take care, take care, men are fasting. Then they will know that the students are ready to come out and take the bullets. This is the course that was supposed to be for three years. I ended up spending four years because of strike. And then I came here for human kinetics and I'm supposed to spend four years and now I'm going into six years for a four years course. Round it all up, that is 10 years just because I want to have a degree. Let our four years be four years. It's pay our lecturers that are teaching us because we are the future of tomorrow. So we will not stop until we get what we want. They have neglected the educational system of this country. They are busy buying nomination forms for the upcoming election and they will still come and clamor on students to come and vote for them. We are very idle, yes. We are very, very idle. We are lazy Nigerian youths. We don't have anything we are doing, so we are going to come out. We are going to keep coming out to the streets. We are going to make sure that everybody feels the pain that Nigerian students are going through. It's been over 80 days since the strike began, and with the recent announcement by ASU that they are extending the strike by 12 weeks, Nigerians are watching whether the government will listen. Paul George, Plus TV News.
And away from Lagos to Edo State, where students of various universities across the state described the 12 week extension of the ongoing industrial action by ASU as unacceptable. The students blocked the entrance gate to the Benin Airport. They also took their protest to the State Secretariat of the Nigerian Union of Journalists. We did 24 hours, they, they dish out money for subsidizing aviation fuel. But for the past three months, they did not see money to, to sell to us. Because shame. why? Because shame. why? We, the common man, we are the ones suffering it. You are correct. And the aversion, the, the flats, they are the ones using it. Enough is enough of, of the foolishness. We cannot continue like this. Just few days that the local airport went on strike, in less than 24 hours, ah, they brought so them much. back. Uh -uh. They no. brought them back. I sat on Thursday of last week. We've been home for 80 days. 80 days. 80 days we have been told that they've added 12 weeks more. In a government, how will a government prioritize politics, aviation, to education? I will recall that we remain umpire when it comes to reporters. Yes! I want to assure you very strongly that the points you have raised this afternoon will be taken to the appropriate quarter. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.